I thought it was about time to actually do what this channel was made for instead of just ramble on like a fucking moron with no filter or off switch. Um, so here is some footage from my first ever psychedelic experience. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if YouTube are watching this, this is purely for educational purposes. I do not condone or support the use of illegal substances. And if you've watched the full video, you see I don't, there's no actual footage of me taking anything. So this is my first time ever taking psilocybin truffles. Let's see how we go. Not as bad as I thought they'd be, but they're not great. I'm a little bit nervous. I didn't find the perfect spot that I wanted. But it's getting later and later in the day and I just thought if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it. Right next to a train track, so every now and then I'll hear something incredibly loud go past, but they're very sour. I don't know whether they're off. They've been in my fridge for like eight weeks. That's why I just had to do them today, because I bought a pack last year and never did them, and they just went off. But I've taken eight grams of a fresh pack of Atlantis, which apparently is a very weak dose, so I just want to get a bit more open-minded a new perspective on life and things like that. I've got very rigid thinking patterns in terms of routine. Um, which is holding me back in my life, I think. I wasn't going to start recording again yet, but I just feel like I'm starting to feel the effects. It's 30 minutes since I took them, and um, yeah, things are looking like bit more HD, a little bit clearer, and uh, my legs are feeling a little bit wobbly as well. I'm feeling a little bit paranoid. I feel like people are watching me. I feel like the farmer's going to come and shoot my head off. When in reality, probably don't give two shits. I'm sure his land has been used for a lot worse stuff. Just a bloke on a bicycle. Oh, I just saw some kind of animal over there. But there's no doubt that my vision, everything looks clearer and brighter. Oh, just a nice sunny day, you know, as you can see. In a nice field, quiet, you can hear the birds chirping, you can hear rowers going past, because um, we're quite near. The river. Wow, this feeling. It's just. I don't really know what how to describe it. It's just like feeling really heavy. Definitely makes you feel really heavy and exhausted. And like, I just want to lie down. Um, that tree in that house go nicely over there, don't they? But even if um, I hadn't taken any. I would still be a bit paranoid because I'm very aware that this is public land. An hour and eleven minutes in, into my trip.
expected has happened um, and I didn't want to wait too long before recording it in case I forgot what happened but yeah it was so weird it was like suddenly everything else all the background noise just went of the clouds and it was awesome but I just had to share the moment I've had with these horses just majestic they were it was like heavenly I was walking up towards them and they were all stood in a line there with this beautiful white one big strong white one in the middle like they were waiting for me almost that's what it felt like but it's amazing what truffles does because I really felt like it was some kind of transcendental moment it felt like heaven it felt like heaven Psilocybin is amazing at making you think you've walked a um, hundred steps when you've actually only walked three. It's the fucking weirdest thing. I can't speak for everyone <clears throat> if they experience this as well, but it's almost comical. It's like you've probably seen a... Um, cartoon or something, or a film where somebody will walk forward, and they'll walk forward, and they'll walk forward, and they keep walking and walking and walking, and then they turn back, and they see they've only actually walked like two or three steps from their starting point. That's really what it feels like with this stuff. It's just surreal. I literally feel like I'm in a video game or something. Because oh, that first experience when the clouds, it, when everything went silent and I was just watching the clouds, was just miraculous. There's a red kite. And then again, when all the horses lined up in front of me, wow. That felt like I was being welcomed into heaven or something. Like they were on guard, just checking who it is. But as soon as I said, I'm not here to hurt you. Um, you know. All their heads went down, they started eating, but it was just that initial, because horses do look a little bit alien. Yeah, it was when seeing seven or eight horses all lined up. I still feel incredibly paranoid, I don't know why. Well, we've been through this, I do know why. I feel like maybe I'm coming, I don't know, coming down, but I feel like, well, this is the thing, isn't it? It's not a continuous trip. You, there's moments where you're just snapped back into reality, and I've just had one of them. We're almost three hours in. Um, I feel like 
the strongest part has passed now. I've still got lingering sort of, um, well, still paranoid. I just had to talk myself into making this video several times because I kept going to do it and then stopping because I keep feeling like somebody's watching me. But I think the reality is I'm watching me. It's me that feels like, you know, that who is constantly watching me and judging me is me. Nobody else. If I can get out of my own way, stop putting so much pressure on myself, I might have a bit more of a life. I do feel a lot more grounded and like back in reality now. So I think um, pretty much fair to say three hour trip, um, which I think is quite long considering as far as I knew I took quite a um, mild dose. And yeah, I'm not sure I would have wanted any longer than that. Look who I found first trip so yeah that's given me a taste for one of the expression it's given me an insight of how they work and what I can expect if I take a bit stronger um, so yeah I'm happy with that lovely day couldn't have asked for more really other than the paranoia good times worst timing just stood out of sight of the building, trying to muster up the courage to go and just pat one of the horses, give it a quick cuddle, and then leave. Literally, as I stepped out to do it, I see a person coming out of the building. Just as I got into eyesight of them from, oh, you know, not hiding behind that bush anymore. Fucking couldn't have made that up if you wanted to. Next time. I'm really, really glad that I did them. I was, I had really intense paranoia and anxiety, but I was able to manage it because I suffer from that on a daily basis anyway, so it was nothing new to me. Um, the two experiences that I had that were positive were just amazing. The horse, the clouds and the horses, um, being told if I was lost, being asked if I was lost by the farmer when I was still on their land, while I was still tripping, like just coming down from the trip, that kind of shook me up a little bit. But, you know, I'm quite glad that happened as well, because it reminded me that, you know, sometimes things do happen in life to catch you off guard, and it's just how you deal with them is the important thing. So the fact that that was uh, five years ago um, made it quite interesting to watch that back. Um, yeah, that was my first dip of the toe into psychedelics. I didn't plan it out as well as I should have. If if you're thinking of doing psychedelics yourself, please, I would urge um, you take set and setting really seriously. Ideally do it with another person, um, it just it would make it so much more enjoyable, I think. And also do it in a place that you're comfortable and you feel safe. Don't just go to your local sort of park. I mean, I didn't even do it in public land. I went, I trespassed really. So it was not a good mental state to start with for me to be in. Um, I could have got a lot more out of it, but I'm grateful to have had those two experiences with the clouds and the horses. They really were special, and there's, yeah, I've not really felt anything else like that. It's quite a lot of effort to, to put, to edit these videos together, but I've got videos on all of the things that I've tried. So if you found this interesting, please let me know with either a thumbs up or a comment. and. Um, I'll put on I'll put the next thing up that I tried which I believe was LSD and I've got loads of videos documenting my experience with that so if you're interested let me know
Thanks for watching.